with another issue of Agritrex, and today I bring you some news from uh, Cruz Alta, Argentina. We've been traveling in Argentina with the Agritrend group. Uh, we've had 27 of us, uh, agri coaches and market coaches, and we've been down here with a bunch of farm customers looking at Argentine agriculture. It's really quite amazing. We're at harvest season here, and we're on a field of soybeans that actually is being harvested. Argentina has been hit with some pretty severe drought this year and it's really limited the crop. The average yield of uh, soybeans in Argentina is about three tons per acre, but this year it's likely going to be depressed down below uh, two tons per acre. You can see in the background harvest is going on. They're taking off some crop right now, uh, some corn, and we're also in a field of soybeans. As you can see from the soybean field here, and this is not representative, this is a very, very dry soybean field this year. They got hit with drought and they got hit with uh, hail. So this has been a really tough year this year. Um, the interesting things about Argentinian agriculture that we've discovered so far is that most of the land is owned by people living off the farm. So about 70% uh, of the land is rented from landlords living in the cities. 98% uh, of the population of Argentina lives in the city. And so the landlords uh, rent the land out to farmers. The problem with the way this is all designed is that the land is on an annualized basis. So farmers do everything they can to avoid with, uh, putting in long-term inputs into the land. The net result of this is that they're gonna see a steady degradation in nutrient values in soil, which they're starting to see over time. The positive side is that there have been pioneers in no-till technology, they have been pioneers in grain bag technology, also spurred by the fact that they, uh, they have short-term tenure, so they don't want to put on permanent storage onto the land base. Um, fantastic uh, people and uh, really uh, top-notch agronomy. They recognize some of the limitations. Soils here in this area are running pHs slightly above six. They're all acidic soils, some more so than others, and there are areas where they're doing lime application. Primarily, the farmers are using straight fertilizers, things like nitrogen straights on urea, and they're using uh, monomonium phosphate uh, on, uh, on the soybeans as a starter. And they're also uh, experimenting now with solution fertilizers. So they're coming on after the crop and they're putting on things like UAN solutions tied together with ammonium thiosulfate. They're playing with boron and in uh, soybeans and zinc and corn and getting responses to that. The uh, harvest is uh, going strong here, like I said. We're uh, going to uh, see uh, some corn later on today. Um, the, uh, the operations are extremely efficient. We see a lot of no-till drills in the operations with great planting capacity. And uh, uh, the tractors, they uh, moderate the age of the tractors if they can because they only put on about 200 hours a year on the tractors, especially the ones on this farm. Again, we're near uh, Cruz Alto uh, uh, in uh, Argentina, just inside the Cordoba border. And uh, we've had a whale of a time, learned lots of stuff, and uh, if you keep checking back, you'll learn some more about Argentinian agriculture. This is Rob Syke saying, howdy, uh, Agritrex from Argentina. We're on a farm just outside of Pergamino in Argentina. We're in a field of uh, some soybean crop. This soybean crop has been sold in January of uh, 2012, which is a little bit late. This is what they call a uh, second soybean crop. It's been sowed after wheat. They're uh, sowing this at uh, roughly 400,000 plants per hectare, a little bit higher population. They're trying to rush the canopy closure because they do start to get some frost here uh, towards the end of April. Um, the farm we're at here uh, is on number two soil. It's a very rich soil. And this was on wheat stubble, and the wheat stubble was... Uh, uh, they said about four and a half ton per hectare, which I think is about 60 bushels an acre here. And we're out here with uh, our guide, uh, Augustine, and the farmer's agronomist. And, uh, and we're here with the Agritrend Tour uh, in Argentina. And uh, yeah, soybeans are a very pre prevalent crop here. And they're at a ratio of about eight or nine soybean crops to every corn crop in the area. Wheat's kind of a rotational crop that they use in the area. Average soybean yield will be 
about three tons or better. This year it's dry, it's going to be a little bit less than three tons and uh, we're also uh, thinking that this crop again because of the delayed planting will only uh, have a potential of about one and a half tons per hectare. We're back in that soybean field. One of the things we wanted to point out was the rapid decomposition of the wheat. This uh, wheat crop was just taken off here in December with the soybean crop planted here in uh, early Jan. Uh, and the wheat uh, stubble is largely decomposed, so they get really rapid decomposition of the, of the stubble. We also are noticing a lot of castings uh, coming through, uh, looks uh, like worm activity. Uh, also seeing uh, lots and lots of nodulations on the soybeans. These uh, soybeans are planted at fairly heavy population of about 450,000 plants per hectare. Uh, this is not going to be a high yielding crop because they're trying to jam it in and get it harvested by December if they don't get nipped with frost before then. This is what's called a short seasoned uh, soybean crop. Soil is beautiful, uh, class 2, uh, nice aggregation, crumb structure. A good water holding capacity. They've been very dry but uh, just recently as you can tell they've had some nice moisture. And just in case uh, you're wondering what land values are worth here, again this is a very good area. We're just outside of uh, Pergamino and uh, the land here is worth uh, 20 to 25,000 US dollars per hectare. So that takes a little while to pay off. Land rent these guys pay would be anywhere from uh, uh, one uh, to maybe 2.2. These guys are paying two tons per hectare soybean rent per year on the field to rent it from the land owners.